What's going on everyone, Bows Phoenix here, and lately, as you may have noticed from my footage in the past few videos, I've been doing some character hopping, just in an effort to play around with some new stuff before the defense meta changes come through, and also just for fun, because I've played Zerker for like 200 hours, and a man can only take so much, but during that experiment, I decided to go back to Valkyrie, seeing as I haven't played her since the middle of Season 1, and I wanted to see how she stacked up in the current meta. Now, I know on console she's still somewhat of a menace, and during the first month or so that the game was out, she was pretty god tier, especially after her buff, but now things are a little different. People are super good at the game now, and they don't fall for the same tricks that they used to. Real quick here before we go any further though, I wanted to note that originally, this video was gonna be about a few long forgotten characters, but I really only have recent experience with Valk, and getting footage for characters I have no idea how to play it well would be a nightmare. And two, as I started to write this video, I realized how long it would take to actually do every character I think is kind of more or less forgotten, if that makes sense. And I kind of just wanted to take it easy and make a chill video for today because this topic has been on my mind for the past week and I really just wanted to talk into a microphone today if I'm being totally honest. But anyway, I chose Valk because out of all these characters I was thinking of, I feel like I see her the least in games and I feel like her moveset has more dead ends than any other character. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's take a look at the girl's moveset and point out some of these useless moves. And it's here we have our first offender, the superior block on dodge into shoulder pin combo. So what this move is supposed to be is sort of a deflect with high risk and very high reward. If you dodge into an opponent's attack at the right time, you'll block it and be able to execute a shoulder pin that inflicts a little bit of bleed damage. Also, this attack counts as a heavy, so from it you can execute a shield crush and then go into a leg sweep. We'll talk about those moves in a second, but where this superior block into shoulder pin fails is at number one, it can be blocked from anyone that's not an AI opponent, and it almost always is, even by accident. The shitty thing about this attack is that it always comes from the right, so if you deflect an attack that comes from the right, they'll pretty much always block the follow-up pin. Also, the way the superior block on dodge works is that it shifts your guard stance when you dodge with a small delay, leaving you more likely to get hit by the attack that you're trying to dodge into than to deflect it. This move has been a complete mess since launch, and I'm honestly surprised no one has done anything about it yet. I feel like Valk was just one of the first hybrid heroes they were working on, and they were trying to make her too much like an assassin, but didn't really take all the mechanics into consideration. So to fix this move, I'd suggest just making the shoulder pin unblockable. Simple as that. Then at least you know that if you get the deflect, you have a guaranteed damage option and can go into your mix-ups from there. Anyway, let's move on to our second offenders, the shield crush and shield tackle moves. In 4v4, when you have revenge, these moves are pretty useful, but in 1v1, and with the changes to revenge coming in the new defense meta stuff, it's not super great because executing these attacks will no longer knock people down. For the shield crush, it's kind of like a lawbringer shove, a warlord headbutt, or a centurion kick that you don't really get anything from. In 4v4, it works well to harass enemies in a team fight, but outside of that, it's not super great. Not to mention it's super easy to dodge, and if someone does dodge it, they get a free guard break if you don't immediately light attack afterwards. The only thing it's even remotely useful for is a mix-up tool to throw your opponents off guard, and even then, what good is a mix-up tool that you can't really follow up on and can be easily and massively punished? So, for the shield crush, just make it like a centurion kick, where you get a free light attack. It counts as part of a chain, so from there you could shield crush, get your free light attack, and then spear sweep, or heavy attack, or heavy cancel into more lights. So you'd have a lot more options that way. For the shield tackle, it used to be listed in the move set that you could cancel this move into a guard break, kind of like how Warden does with his shoulder charge. If you could actually do that, it would probably be a really good move. Outside of just letting it rip though, you can cancel it into an extremely easy to parry jumping light attack, and even if you do hit someone and knock them down, the character gets pushed too far away for you to capitalize on the knockdown. As it stands now though, this move is just a subpar warden shoulder bash with no real options attached to it. Oh, also, if someone dodges this move as well, it's a free guard break on you too. Moving on though, let's talk about the third offender, the spear sweep. Everyone hates this move, and I'm still not 100% sure about how I feel about it. It's great for the character and really fits Valk in her disabler role, but the only problem is, it's super predictable. You can only do this at the end of a chain and people always know it's coming. That being said, some characters do have a slightly more difficult time dodging it, but against assassins and other quick characters, or pretty much anybody that's not a heavy, it is almost always useless. All you have to do is dodge it and it's a free guard break on the Valkyrie. 
Not to mention, too, that in teamfight situations, it's extremely annoying to your team members because it knocks them down as well. I'm not sure how to fix this one without making it incredibly broken because it does give you a free heavy attack and it does knock you down, so I guess what we really would need is just a better way to get into it that's not so predictable. But anyway, the fourth and last offenders are Valk's side dash light and forward dash light attacks. Most characters have these, but for some reason, Valks are a lot more punishable than any other class. All you need to do is block them, and it's a free guard break on the Valkyrie. I remember people being upset about this a long time ago, and I'm really confused as to why they haven't fixed it yet. Kensei had the same issue, and his was fixed wonderfully to where the side dash light has the opponent react as if it's a heavy attack so you can keep your chain going. I honestly feel like Val could do with the same treatment, but again, that might be broken because she's a totally different character, so who knows. So with those out of the way, what does that leave us to be competitive? Well, not a whole lot, really. Her light light into heavy faint is a super solid mix-up that I've had some success with, but the only problem with that is the second light in the chain almost never lands. People either block it or parry it, and a light parry punish is devastating in the current meta. I did play around the PTR though, and while those light parries aren't as punishing there, it still stops the chain. So most of the time, at high level play, you're just chipping away at your opponent one light attack at a time. One strategy I did find a little success in though was just throwing heavies to beat out parries because Valk can't be guard broken on a heavy parry. Her range is just a little too far like Kinsei and Lawbringer so if the enemy parries you and they try to do a guard break to follow up they'll whiff it and then you can guard break them but if you come up against a character with a parry punish though it's a different story like Centurion or Warlord. But anyway, you throw the heavy, the opponent will either block it or parry it, and from there you either get a free guard break or continue your attack chain. But still, even this is fairly weak, as good players can catch on and play around it. But anyway, this is just my observation after coming back to the character after a long time. I didn't really find Valk super satisfying to play in the current meta, and I very quickly switched back to Berserker after about a week or so of bashing my head against the wall. And I was thinking about learning a different character entirely, but with a new season coming soon, I'm not really sure I want to invest that much time into a character that I'm probably going to put down once the new ones come out. But yeah, I was bored and I thought this would be an interesting discussion video and if you enjoyed it, support it by leaving a like down below and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for more For Honor content. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to join my Discord and keep the conversation going, but until next time, I'm Bals Phoenix, I'll see you at the next one, and as always, thank you so much for watching.